Hey what's going on, my name is James and this is going to be quite a long video as we are looking at two very full screenshots of 1.2. So, let's start off. So we're going to start small and we're going to look at this vanity outfit. Now this is what I like to call Admiral Jim Man, because it kind of looks like an Admiral and it's also Jim Man's icon. So, I just want to say a big thank you to Jim Man for doing all of this, you know, making all the artwork and stuff, doing a little bit of an interview for Try Online. You're absolutely awesome, dude. I hope you can do an interview with me in the future. I gave you a big shout out when you were first announced, and I'm proud to say that I spoke to you because you do some awesome work. That aside. Okay, so let's look. This Admiral outfit looks pretty badass, and as we can see, these brand new ring, uh, rings? Wings. Sorry about that, guys. And these wings kind of look like reindeer antlers, I guess. I'll be actually really shocked to see what they are because I can't really define it. They kind of look evil, they kind of don't look evil. Okay, so we're going to start small even more, and we're going to move on to this penguin. So, this penguin's pretty cute, and he kind of flops around and stuff, and just kind of stands there. He looks awesome. Okay, moving on. Half slabs. I know I didn't mention this in the unicorn photo when I should have done, but there they are. Naturally generated half blocks. They look pretty cool. So, moving on with tradition of yesterday's video... These trees look pretty awesome. They look a lot better than the trees I showed yesterday. A lot of negative feedback about that. However, these trees look pretty badass. They imagine how... Well, I imagine that's how I would see these kind of trees if I was ever going to do this. So it is pretty cool. I like these trees. I think they suit so much better than the uh, the ones with leaves on and stuff. Okay, so let's check out this big house. There's going to be a lot of panic cropping in this video. Now, at the top of this house, we can see some awesome ice chests. Uh, pretty much nothing new, but other than that we can see uh, this lovely back wall and brick. The brick looks absolutely great, it really does add to the biome. We see a new colour of bed there in the top of the house. We see new blue torches, so if we get new blue torches then maybe we'll get orange torches hopefully. So we see another penguin or like a little bird looking thing next to the guide. They're pretty much just chilling together. We have a merchant here and underneath we have what looks to be ice stone and I imagine this is what the uh, building's actually built out of all this ice stone. As you can see we have a separate oven there so that's pretty cool. If we move on we have a guy roasting marshmallows and we see the return of the Eskimo suit. Also if you'll notice he's also wearing some ice looking wings. We see this campfire here and we can also look at the uh, new coloured water so that looks pretty cool. Okay, so on to screenshot two. Now, I have a lot of love for this screenshot. As you can see, it's an ice cavern, and it really does look like an ice cavern. It really does make me think of, you know, frozen walkways and, you know, dim blue lighting and just everything being frozen. It is really good. I really love the ambience here. So, we're going to zoom in on Admiral here. And as you can see, he's had this bird from the original screenshot, and it's kind of followed him. So, maybe it is naturally generated. But I'm going to edge my bets on that being a pet. So it's a pretty cool pet. Also we can see another ice chest. Naturally generated I believe. Just on the uh, just on the same line as the Admiral there. Behind him we have an ice slime. And above that we have what looks to be a mangled bat. And also a crack in the wall. I'll let you guys decide what goes on there. Underneath that we have a little dark cavern. And inside we can see this frozen pot. So we saw new types of pots in the jungle screenshot, so I like the little variations that they're adding. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about this blue torch. As you can see, it's hanging off the wall, but it's also being run over by a waterfall. This means two things. Either this torch is invulnerable to water, or the waterfalls work over torches. I don't know how that would work. Maybe if it's uh, only one block over a torch, maybe it's fine. If it's two blocks, it's not. I don't know, but that's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for this screenshot. It really does look great though. Jim Man, you've done an absolutely great job. Props to you, you know, the other artists who may have been involved. Absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this biome. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see Terrarium news videos, come and check me out. My channel is youtube.com slash chippygaming. I like to do Terrarium news. I like to do Terrarium spoilers. And pretty much this is what I do. I like to break down screenshots. I like to talk about uh, hints and tips and everything. So come and check me out. My name is James. Thank you all for watching. Peace.